Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time I'm going to show you how to get through the Tuckerock Shrine in Nekluda. So the hint of this dungeon, or rather the title, is Forward Force. And so when we walk in, we see a bowl that corresponds to an orb most likely, and it's blocking the gate to the exit. And you'll notice my exit is already done, that's because I did this already, but I brute forced it in a couple ways and I wanted to make this a bit cleaner. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down here and we have found our orb, but we can't just lift it all the way up to the beginning, so we gotta bring it around the shrine. You want to ultra hand it, attach it to this cart, jump on yourself, and then just whack one of the wheels to turn it on. Then we're gonna be able to roll through the lava here. And then once you reach the end, go ahead and give it another whack to turn it off. And then just take the orb off the cart and then you're done with the first section. So that's number one of three. Next up, you want to attach the orb to this uh, slab or block right here. And then we are going to take this plank and then we are going to attach it to this block right here at about a 45 degree angle, just like that. And then you're gonna take this wheel and then what we're gonna do is, I'm not sure if it's the intended solution, but it's my solution. We're going to then attach it to the block to get it a little bit lower than that. Yeah, just like that. So the tire is attached to the block itself, not on the axis. It's just sort of brute force attached there. And then you want to take out a bow, turn it on, and then you'll notice it's not driving itself. That's fine. What we're instead going to do is we're going to drag this up as far as we can get it. And then the tire is eventually going to get stuck and so is the slab. So once that happens, it's okay. Just gently let it rest on that block there or on that pylon, whatever you want to call it. Head up and then standing on this platform, we can then just grab the orb, detach it and bring it into the final section. So this final section is yet another puzzle that I'm just kind of going to get real creative with. I never was super comfortable in this shrine, and I'm very curious what the quote-unquote intended solution is. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to attach uh, four planks together and create a raft. And this raft is going to be slightly bigger than the dedicated log rafts that are already sitting in the water. So going to grab this fourth plank. Actually, are we doing three or four? I think we're just doing three. Sorry about that. So grab three, and then I just want to test the size out. Actually, we want to... Yeah, three is good. So then once you have that, go ahead and attach the orb to the center of this, and then we're going to build sort of like a motor raft using all of the available tires here. So go ahead and wiggle this off place this at the front. You do want to connect the actual uh, axes there. Grab that one. It'll automatically lift it up. Make sure that the uh, tires are all facing the correct way, so the arrow is going forward on all of them. Glue it on there. Perfect. And then the other two are right here. All right. Got to pull it away a little bit to get the axis to be the, the glue. I think I should be saying axle, not axis. All right, final one here. Same deal. Might have to give this a quick rotation here. Yep, just like that. Nope. Yes, okay, we're good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to lift this up, and then we're actually going to have it drive along this track. So you want to make sure that you have green lines for all four tires on top of the railings here. Gently place it down, and then you're gonna shoot it with an arrow, and then it's gonna drive itself along the track. And even if it doesn't make it all the way to the end, as long as it gets close to the end, you're fine. But that's my solution. It doesn't feel like it's the right solution, but it does work. Don't forget that there is a chest hidden in the water here. That is your chest for the shrine. Go ahead and take that out and open it. Obviously, I've already opened it because I did this a while back. All right, then we are going to climb up this ladder. And then we are going to meet 
Mr. Orb. I always nickname these dudes Henry because th they just follow you through so many of these shrines. Oh, that's bad. Oh, please let me get out. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> cool. So go ahead and take Henry with you, wiggle it off, and then you need to step on this switch here. Okay. And then you can take the orb, finally place it in the bowl here, and then the exit is open to you, and you leave with your own orb. And that's it. That is the shrine. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll sweet Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.